Well, hello again, and thank you for watching. Uh, first of all, let me say just I really appreciate anybody that's subscribed to my channel and appreciate it even more if you <laughs> click on some of the advertising links. Um, I know the advertising links are a little annoying, but uh, that's honestly for me as a enthusiast uh, instead of a professional photographer, that's really the only a uh, little bit of income I get, and, and it is little uh, from my photography at all, so make a few videos and uh, people, I'm not sure what constitutes uh, <clears throat> revenue from the uh, Google YouTube advertising, if you actually click on the link or if you just see it, I guess you have to click on it, but anyway, I really appreciate that. Um, so what I'm looking at today is the Peak Design slide strap. It's a well, technically they're calling it a camera sling strap. Uh, you can wear it like a sling, um, sort of like, it's sort of a competitor to, to the Black Rapid strap. So if you see on the front of the uh, box here how somebody's wearing it there, kind of slung around their neck and shoulder off to the side. Um, and you can you obviously use it like a regular neck strap, which I probably will most of the time. I'll have to kind of get used to it and see what I want to do. Um, comes with the, this is the Summit Edition actually, it's the red one. And technically it's not really red when you get it. Uh, you'll notice it's sort of a burnt orange kind of color. Uh, but if you order the red one, this is what you get. And I actually like it. And um, there's a blue one and then there's another one that's not really the Summit Edition, it's just kind of a black one. Um, so, so far, I'm going to go over some of the things, um, just so you know, uh, this has been covered before quite a bit on YouTube, but what I wanted to do was talk about some of the materials and exactly how it's made and the way it's put together. Um, some of the things that I was wondering about, I didn't see any videos out there about that. So, first of all, you might think, well, it looks just like a seat belt. It is kind of like a seat belt material, but this is actually tubular. It's not just a flat piece of material. If you I don't know if I can get it. It's been kind of flattened out, you know, almost as if you took an iron and uh, flattened it. But I'm trying to get it to do it here, but it is tubular. It's a tube. It's not. It's just basically a flattened tube. It's not a just a single flat piece of material. So what that means is the edges here are softer, and also that means that here in the middle, the, between my two index fingers here. Uh, this part here has a um, a padding on the inside, and it's kind of stuck in there somehow. Uh, you know, maybe it's heated up and it's kind of permanently fastened to it, but it doesn't move. It's not like you've got a little piece of material in there and it floats around and moves out of the way. It's always going to be in this position here on the top. Um, and these little black strips are kind of like a rubbery material designed to kind of grip onto your shoulder if you got it slung over your shoulder like this, you know, it's not going to uh, want to move as much. Although it's not really that grippy, so, you know, you just got to be careful with it. And, um, you know, overall it's really well put together, really nice materials. Uh, some of the things I want to talk about was I kept seeing people on this slide, you know, pull up on this as if it's some kind of lock, you know, that it locks it in place. But really, it's not a lock at all. It's just kind of there for convenience. So as you've got it over your shoulder, around your neck or whatever, you un you just kind of pop that up. And then, you know, when the camera has pressure on it, you just, you can use that to release this buckle so it'll slide more uh, or more easily. And uh, when you get it where you want it, you just snap that little uh, metal piece back. And it, it really just uses the weight of the camera once you get in, in this position and you have weight on it, uh, the buckles, the way it's designed, the way the, the uh, webbing loops through it, obviously, then, you know, the tighter you pull on it, the more resistance it wants to have, and it's just not going to move much. It will move a little bit. I found that it does kind of creep down a little bit sometimes, you know, like so, um, but not much. It's just not really a big deal. Um, this... These little black pieces here, this is, uh, looks like a plastic, this is real leather. Um, this is a plastic around here, and um, the little buttons, or the anchor links as they call them, you know, they're made out of plastic. And um, they give you an extra one in the newer versions. I guess it's the SL2 if you buy the 
SL2 version, which is this this one is. What it's also the Summit Edition. Uh, but if you see on there, it has the um, there's an extra anchor link they give you. Also one on the archetype uh, tripod mount that they give you with uh, one of the anchor links already attached to it. Uh, but if you see from the image there, it has a uh, little illustration for the newer type of anchor links that shows you uh, when it, if you rub through it and you're seeing yellow, it's about, you know, it's time to replace it. And if it's, you're seeing red, then uh, really dangerous. You need to <laughs> replace it right away or you risk having it break and uh, lose your camera on the ground. Um, one of the things I would like is I would like to see a different version of these. You know, this obviously would be the same at the bottom, but I would like to see something that has a more material here instead of this really thin stuff. I know it supports up to 200 pounds, um, and I don't think it's really going to be any problem with it for me, but I'd just rather have something a little bit thicker for instances like this where on my D750, there's really no reason why I couldn't have a, a thicker type of cord to go through the camera strap loop there. Um, I think one of the reasons why they make them small is so you can put it through a little hole like that on the uh, Arca Swiss plate um, tripod mount or anything else that you want to attach it to. So obviously you've probably seen these before. It's just got this little area in here. It's kind of a spring loaded. This is metal on the inside and it's sort of spring loaded. So you just line it up. You put the anchor link in there and you can either just tug on it and it'll snap or you can push down on it a little bit and uh, give it a little tug there and it'll snap into place. And so that little metal uh, springy part in there is what keeps pressure on it to keep it in this little round area that it's supposed to be in all the time. Um, so that's really, you know, well, let me talk about the length. As far as the length goes, this thing will get really long. So if you're kind of a big person or you just want to sling it in a certain way, um, each side will come down. I've, when I put it around my neck, Basically, my D750, I'm 5 feet 8 tall, 5 feet 8 inches. Um, the D750, the top of the D750 will be kind of like at the bottom of my crotch. So that's pretty long. I don't think I would ever really need it any longer than this. And uh, for my purposes, it's borderline too long. And uh, I'm probably going to use it mostly as a neck strap, but I'm sure when I go on vacation in the spring, maybe I'll use it as a, a sling. So they do give you with... The um, Arca plate, they give you a little Allen wrench for that. And obviously you don't want to screw this onto the bottom of your camera just by hand. You want to screw it on hand tight and then use the Allen wrench to tighten it up. They also give you a little, little microfiber pouch. I guess that actually be good for cleaning your lens if you misplace your cleaning cloth and just generally wipe, wipe down your camera or whatever. But, you can just keep your little miscellaneous items in there. Um, you've already seen the box. But this was about uh, $60, I think. And uh, I just really like the convenience of it. It is really nice. You know, I don't normally need to remove my camera strap very often because I am a big camera strap user. But uh, it is very convenient to have these little anchor links where you can just easily pop them out like that. Just put a little pressure down on it and uh, you know, they pop out and then your strap comes off. So, uh, let's see what else. I think that's about it. It's kind of went over the materials and the uh, overview of what the strap is and what I think about it. I, I really like it. I'm glad I bought it. And uh, if you're interested in something like this, uh, you know, check it out and buy one for yourself. Thanks for watching.